So leading and change, I think one of the really big important tasks is to identify your stakeholders in the school. Who are your staff and what are their levels of um, motivation and wanting to move forward. One of the key factors that's worked uh, well for us here is identifying our early adopters, those who are willing to take change and to lead and do something different. Uh, providing them with responsibility. Then you've got your early majority, those staff who perhaps just need a little bit more um, evidence that something's going to work and, and prepared for someone else to trial at first for them to view how it goes. Moving through to your late majority who need a lot of evidence, who need to see what worked and see it being refined, um, down to the laggards at the end who you know really need a lot of motivation. If you can embrace your staff and give those early adopters the opportunity to take on the responsibility, you know, as your staff are getting professional development from a huge range of people, instead of from a traditional hierarchical model of senior management, senior leadership providing that information, a different voice, not only does it give staff a different voice, we're creating and developing capacity and others um, to lead change at the same time as well. I guess my philosophy in terms of leading change and what I've done is modelling. So uh, I think uh, for any staff, a lot of them need to see what the change looks like and especially every school is different which is really important and there's a lot of literature out there and different ideas but not all of them mould uh, into your, perfectly into your environment. So I've really taken on board uh, with my team specifically that I work with that I model first, I use it, I do it in my classroom, how I alter it before I then deliver it to the uh, rest of the staff so they get a real good practical uh, idea of how it would be applied within the classroom and then linking literature to that and ideas um, and the why so they get a really good buy-in rather than here's an idea, go and use it, and they don't actually know how it might practically apply to their situation. So yeah, I find that that's worked really good, that it's always been tried and tested in the classroom, exactly the same classrooms they have, so then there's more buy-in for them because they know it works.